don't want to hear any more stories about my hair color if you like my black hair to an event and this is my outfit for today when I bought this Frankie shop um, see-through top I just never wore it it's been like a couple of months and I'm just like when am I gonna find the occasion and today is like the perfect occasion to actually wear it it goes perfectly with this look I just wish my coat was a little bit lighter this is that kid trench coat honestly after wearing this in Paris and I look like an absolute clown because it didn't go with the outfit that I was wearing I was a little bit concerned I was just like oh my goodness when am I ever gonna wear this coat again and then the day that I found out that dress from Stad that I bought was the same color and I'm just like oh okay now I finally found something it's made it more easy for me now to actually pair it with other things because this buttery color it's just it's so pretty but it can be a little bit hard to style depends on the colors that you are wearing don't pair this with brown but this looks absolutely stunning this is my outfit see through top and let's go yeah I need to get another pair of these pants honestly um yeah and then I'm wearing these I mean I'm wearing these shoes because I'm gonna uber back and forth these shoes are perfection honestly it's like I don't know why I put them on my worst buy list I think it's because they were falling off my feet but I don't know for some reason now I can tolerate them I can walk with them they're just so pretty and this color I think is like the perfect match for me like I needed something like this mm, like who would have thought I'd be wearing these purple shoes so much I need to get the full sandal now not in this color though I think I want pink or maybe something more neutral like a brown let's put lipstick on and call my uber because I'm running late even though it's a by appointment only it's gonna take 30 minutes and it's 10 44 and my appointment is at 11 so we gotta go I love this look it's perfection I'm talking too much let's go I got flowers which I needed for the house so this worked out perfectly let's go home I left the event this was so lovely I had such a great time now I'm gonna stop at Sephora to return the foundation that I bought it's broken so I do want to get another color but I got new flowers and then I'm gonna call a lift and go back home now and I think I was watching a little bit but my Lyft driver was literally the worst ever 30 minute trip turned into over an hour trip just me going right there in Soho just me going right there in Soho it was supposed to be 30 minutes and that's because of traffic because when there's no traffic I can get to Soho in like 15 minutes but no he decided to get off the FDR to go take you know the streets and the streets are just not it because if you don't know the trucks cannot drive on the FDR especially during the week you will all most likely always find the trucks on the streets because that's where they can drive and then also the traffic on the street is always going to be worse unless there's like a really really bad accident that's on the FDR then you know that's something completely different then you can get off and take the back road unless something unusual happened but usually the regular traffic it's just the fdr is always going to be faster because there's no light even if there's traffic on there it's it's still the fastest way to go he decided to get off and then it, like we just get into so much traffic 
because every time you get off waiting for the light it's just like it adds so much more time that you don't even realize at some point we got back on the fdr we wasted so much time we got back on the fdr and then he took it upon himself again to get off the fdr and take backwards again and i'm just like yo this dude is just the worst like i don't think I've, I've never given someone a bad review until today today was like the you know like the first time i think i've given someone a bad review like even if they do something i'm just like mm, whatever for over an hour i think it was like an hour and 15 minutes that it took me to get to soho when it should have taken me 30 minutes 30 minutes just because he thought like he knew better i mean even though i wasn't like i wasn't necessarily like i wasn't like too upset about it but we got some flowers like to me this is my favorite bouquet of flowers like this kind of green like when i get married this is the kind of bouquet that i want something like this i really 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 love the pink actually i'm gonna take a picture now this is so pretty yeah. all right we got the picture and we got some new stuff and honestly i'm not going to lie to you my house has been a little bit funky if i'm honest with you uh remember you guys i told you guys the story about the mouse since then it hasn't gone back yet to like my smell good house and i've been wanting some spray but you guys know me i have a very sensitive nose i have a sense sensitivity so i can't necessarily spritz anything around the house if not then i get sick especially the allergies happening right now if i spit like some fragrance that has too many chemicals in there forget about it i've just been very um so i've just been taking precaution about like spraying the house but i'm just like the house needs to smell good so this came at the most perfect time because their stuff is like a clean brand you know they work with essential oils and all that good stuff and i love all their scents they're very very soft and they smell so good and i kind of love this bag too like this is such a cute bag to do errands especially if you're gonna like do bottles and stuff caldrea the brand is caldrea destination greece it has my birthday in there that is that is so funny is this a sign that I'm going to Greece? I need to go to Crete too because I used to have this Polish, Polish, Polish um, designer, not designer, um, teacher, prof professor. I can never say professor. Um, prof, professor, professor, teacher um, in college when I went for. He was my color theory, or was it like? 3d design i don't remember but that's when i was taking photography what was his name again i forgot his name so he used to always tell me that he goes to greece every year and he goes to crete because i was we were talking about greece and then i was telling him that i've been to santorini and all that stuff he's just like go to crete you know it's much more private it's much more beautiful without the commotion and things like that so and since then i've put it in the back of my head like when i go back to greece one of the islands that i'm gonna go to is to crete and i could also go to pathos but crete has been on the back of my mind i guess um this is uh, i guess this is a sign well, their home scents are all inspired by like different places like the basil blue sage has become one of my favorites and that one is inspired by provence and i'm like no wonder i love it so much because you guys know me south of france um it's one of my favorite places it's where i hope to retire one day even though i really really love mexico but i don't know there's something about the south of france that i just like i really long for the south of france so we will see and then we've got the ginger pomelo who that's inspired by i should have taken a picture of the place in the new one it's inspired by greece they gave me the hand soap too which is amazing i'm always on the lookout for some new things so this is the new one that just came out and then the one that's launching in july it's my favorite it smells so incredible i'm gonna go and buy that one this is a hand soap and again that's probably the number one thing about my job honestly i just love discovering new brands for you guys it's probably like my favorite thing ever um this is dish soap oh amazing it's amazing and then the womb spray which whew, when i tell you i cannot wait to like spritz the house because now i can feel comfortable spritzing my house and not having to worry about like you know crazy chemicals 
you know, allergies, like, it's very light, which is my favorite thing. But this is my favorite, the Basil Blue Sage, like, this one smells so incredible. Like, I'm obsessed. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, this is one of the best sellers. And I'm like, mm, I definitely, um, I definitely understand why this is a bestseller because, my goodness, that smells amazing. When I tell you this smells so good, how do you recommend? Let me spray to my bedroom. My bedroom is a place that I don't necessarily ever spray because it's a place that I sleep. I don't need any ca chemicals in here. This is amazing, guys. Like literally, definitely check them out. New favorite brand to talk to Amy, who has, a, um, who's been teaching aromatherapy for like uh, since 2013 and she opened a school so she's been in the business and she'd work with Caldera to develop all the scents and everything like that so amazing I just love going and just like really learning about the brand they also have laundry softener what is this one for oh this is countertop spray yes I am sad baby let me go ahead and get undressed and get comfortable. How about right, you guys? guys? I am ready for the event. We can it. I am going to go to a cost event. This is my first cost event. Very excited. I am back in the same look that I wore at the final dinner in London. Everything is from In Other Stories. The top is currently there. And the skirt, of course, you already know. This is the famous Awake Mode skirt. Probably like my one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe like ever. I can never see myself get, getting rid of this. This is the piece. I need more elegant tops like this. It does one small, so this is a size six, I believe. And it has it's like a corset style. And then it has the strings on the back. So I love it. Everyone usually thinks this is a dress, but you know it's a skirt and a top. And you guys already know the back that I'm gonna take is of course the YSL Sinka set. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I've really been loving the YSL Libre. I'm honestly so shocked by how much I love this perfume. I never thought I would be a YSL Libre kind of gal, but here I am. I'm not gonna stay much at the event. I think I'm gonna leave my portable charger because you know, whenever you get a new phone from Apple, the longevity is a lot better. So I've already brushed my teeth. I put lipstick on. I'm gonna put lip gloss on top of it. I don't know, sometimes I'm just so disappointed when I buy stuff, you know, when I go back to buying stuff from Zara because it's just like the, the pins that I got, this is the first time I wore them out, the button is already done. And stuff like that is very upsetting for, uh, to me. It's very upsetting spending $90 on a pair of trousers. And then the thing can't even stay on it. So my my heart bag. This is the final look. One thing that I say that I can say that I love about this hair is that I don't have to do too much with it. Even if it's wavy like this, I feel completely fine with it. This is the look, super simple. Keeping it black. I'm just trying to like get out of there and just come back home. Because I mean you guys know me, I just hate leaving my house. I am looking a little cray cray, but it's okay. I just, I don't know, I just love any excuse to come to Soho, if I'm honest with you. Like, Soho has become that place for me. Like, I just love it here. I just feel so alive here. I'm going home now. I didn't even get to take my blazer off. 
let's go home i got my favorite thing ever from goss which is a white t-shirt <laughs> we have another white t-shirt i got a medium this time around and then i got some earrings again because this year i will be wearing a lot more neutrals and i want like cute accessories and an area that i am lacking it's earrings so i saw these really cute ones so i got them i'm excited well, i will show you when i get home hello guys I am ready well it is 5 50 now i am getting ready for the opening of the what goes around comes around store on wooster street so i'm excited because i went to their last event there's really really bad traffic on the fdr you know what i might be shameless just take an uber to the train yeah i think i'm gonna do that oh no 41 minutes on the train that doesn't make any sense why would it be 41 minutes no it's definitely less than that i was thinking what could i do for my hair and also this is the first time i went back to using that foundation from matt nars which is like which used to be my favorite foundation during the pandemic because at the time i was looking for a foundation where if i took my mask off it didn't you know all my foundation was still there this is it really it is that foundation from nars it's called soft matte i love it you guys know i probably influenced some of you to get this foundation because to me it's like one of the best foundation on the market and i put it back on today and i was so amazed and i'm just like wow why haven't i been using that especially on the times where i'm going to an event like this like why haven't i been using that but today i'm using new products also i got a new givenchy powder for under the eyes which is the number three um, I already have it on number five. I wanted something that was a little bit lighter and more pink. On my lip, it's the Maybelline Vinyl in the color Peppy. It's like one of my favorite lip at the moment, especially for pink. I don't know, it just had like a, um, a radiance to it. And then for highlighter, I am using the Selena Gomez, well, Wear Beauty um, Exolorate, the powder thingy. It's like a powder cream. It's like one of the most beautiful highlighters that I've ever used. Like everyone needs it. Like you just need just a little bit. It is intense. It's insane. Love, love, love that. This is my makeup today. I really, really love it. Now I'm thinking about my earrings. I was thinking, should I do the Chanel earrings that I actually got from What Goes Around Comes Around? Let's see, it's time to get ready. Let me get there early. And I'm still trying to think which bag should I take if I should take my Saint Laurent. I'm thinking I should do my hot bag or even the little Dior mini pouch. Because the red might be a little bit too much. happy saturday whoop, whoop. i don't want to hear any more stories about my hair color if you like my black hair then watch my past videos because going forward we are gonna keep it in lighter hair um i don't know it's just like i've been looking for like a different look something to kind of like be my signature look i was tired of the black honestly and last year was a complete accident when i decided to do blonde for my birthday I never thought that it would have lasted me this long i thought i was just gonna do the blonde once and then that's it and after that month i was gonna go back to black hair but yeah it just ended up going on me i just ended up loving the color like i don't know it just give my face like a different look a different vibe it's it's the vibe that i've been looking for if i go back to wearing black hair it's gonna have to be my own natural hair that's the move but it's saturday my mom came it's been raining all day long last night was crazy I couldn't take my vlog camera because it's too big. It didn't fit into my camera. That's the only problem. My bag, the bag that I had to wear couldn't fit into my camera. That's why I couldn't take you guys along with me. But I will include some clips from that I took from the party. You know, I saw Kendall Jenner, Rita Ora, Kid Moss, Helena Christensen. Who else was there? Literally everyone was there at this party. It was just like so amazing it was to celebrate what goes around comes around 30th year anniversary and also celebrating Karl Lagerfeld's legacy and work and all that stuff pretty pretty amazing event i had such a good time 
you know, my friends um, ended up joining me, which was pretty amazing. Kim and Travis. It was so fun. And then I left the party. I had gotten there at like 7 exactly on time. Because I knew it was going to get that crazy. So I was just like, you know what, let me make sure I get on time. And then I was watching somebody else's story, which is what I used to do anyways. But... The, over the last few months i've been going later to like events and i don't like that i prefer being the first one there which is what i used to do last year so that's what i'm going back to because i didn't i just saw someone say like oh i like to get to the party early that way i can have less people in my photos and then i can take all the content that i need and i'm just like exactly that's what i used to do to begin with like why did i go back to going later to to events and i'm just like no 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 going forward I'm gonna go back to going on time to events because it's way better than going later. It was amazing. I had such a great time. I had a couple of drinks, not a lot though. And then I did wake up today and my skin didn't necessarily feel bad. Sometimes when I drink alcohol, I wake up and then I can actually see it on my face. I think it might be a certain type of liquor that does that to me. So I think I want to do like a little experiment and so I kind of like started to like slowly introduce alcohol back into, um, into my life, but not like I used to do before. Like before I used to have like a drink pretty much like not every day but often now i barely barely drink so even when i go to events now i'll just take the drink for pictures but i will not drink it but last night i did have a couple of sips um because you know i was there to support the alcohol brand so i wanted to actually try it to see if it's something that i can recommend to you guys and i highly highly recommend the cosmo it's otr cocktails the cosmo is just so good like it's already made so all you have to do is just garnish it put it in a pretty tray put ice in it and that's it like it literally saves you the headache of like mixing and doing all that stuff so they have old-fashioned they have margarita they have moridori yeah i don't know if i'm pronouncing that correctly but check it out the cosmo was definitely my favorite it was so good um i also like the old-fashioned because sometimes i do like a manly drink i do like a sexy drink but the cosmo is is my favorite who doesn't love a cosmo you know sex in the city guys kind of vibe <laughs> i'm always tripping over some packages when i came in here to tell you guys i did come in here to tell you something my mom came she bought me food did i tell you i'm so incredibly blessed like oh uh, ink bought me water bring me everything that i need olive oil napkins those are the things that i don't necessarily buy my mom always bring me all the stuff and thinking back to when i lived in jersey it was even like way better because she would literally come to my house every day every day she would cook and bring me stuff and buy me like a bunch of things it was so fun like that year that i spent in jersey i will cherish um that year for really you know forever because it was just like so fun after living in the city for like a decade and then just like kind of like being so close to her again just like seeing her every day her bringing me food bringing me something just like you know she would just stop by an area she would always be driving around anyways i would say that was probably one of my favorite years if i'm honest with you it was just like so fun living so close to home even now i only live like 30 minutes it's a 30 minutes drive away so it's not really that far but i just see her every couple of weeks she brings me food and that way i have food for the entire week i don't have to worry about it the only thing that i have to make is really breakfast and then i'll just have lunch or dinner depending but typically i do my fast later during the day so i don't eat dinner really anymore unless i'm going out to dinner with a friend or unless you know i had breakfast a little bit later um then i'll just like not even have lunch that is it's not even that i skip it it's just like i am full until that time so i intuitive eat i don't eat just because like you you know they're saying like you have to eat i only eat when i'm hungry and then i try not to eat like you know after six seven ish that's what i tried to do but last night i did come home i realized oh i had alcohol sometimes now when i have alcohol it actually like sort like hurting my stomach which is crazy to me I hope I don't become allergic. So what I did was I had some remainder of oatmeal that I had made for lunch. Um, it was like 11 p.m. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just warm it up and eat it. So I warmed that up and then I ate it. So I think that's probably what helped me so much with my stomach last night. Lunch with Mary. Say hi, Mary. Hello. <laughs> I 
I do not know what's in the air. Happy new month. Happy Monday. I can't believe we we're already here. I had so much content planned for you guys for last month, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys with all the traveling and also the allergies or allergies are just like such in reasons, honestly, in this year. Um, it's been one of the worst ones and especially since I'm not even outside like that like today I'm all in my house why am I having effects of these allergies like inside my house it's just so bad um but um, and also my tummy was like giving me weird vibes wow I feel so much like Gen Z now <laughs> so what I did was I did a full glass of lemon water so i put um, half a lemon juice in here and i did apple cider vinegar so as soon as i've been drinking that it's supposed to calm my tummy and also i did buy some yogurt because i need prebiotics because i'm on a mission to cure my bloating once and for all and i finally found a lady on tiktok she was talking about when you constantly bloated it, it's probably your um the acid in your stomach like the good bacteria are not there right to do their thing process the thing the way they should she was saying how your stomach acidity it's not high enough so i need to work on that she's saying when you wake up on an empty stomach drink lemon water i'm gonna start doing that i will be drinking lemon water and an empty stomach when i wake up in the morning of course ginger is always an amazing thing that i've been doing for the past year but i would like to get to a point where i just cure this once and for all and just like get it out the way and it just stress of course that's one of them i was i was very stressed march was a very stressful full month for me i just don't understand i need to get this the thing is i can't work out because workout will put stress on my body so i can't work out the only thing that i can do is walk but i can do pilates i need to sign up for pilates so we will see my focus for the next month or two is really focusing on healing my gut and also my screen time has been so much when i tell you my screen time like let me see usually i'm very good at my screen time but since january i think you know what it is it's like the effects of me but i'm pretty sure it's about like eight hours a day that's how bad it is i think it's because you know i wasn't on tiktok when it was all happening everyone was on it i think i'm kind of like uh, <clears throat> now i'm just like consuming all the content that i felt like I didn't get a chance to for the past couple of years and stuff like that so i think that's where it is with me i need to get to a point where i just go in the app post my content which is how i am with instagram right now I, i'm barely on instagram like that i just go in post my little content like whatever um the people i'm following just post and then i get back out but tiktok is the place that's just been crazy of my screen time so i need to work on that so I need to go back to like listening to books, listening to good podcasts, you know, that's going to get my mind right into the right thing because we need to get focused this year. I'm going to go warm up some food now to eat and then um, I have a meeting at 2.45. I don't even remember for what. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my makeup off. I think I might go, um, you know, wash my hair and do all that good stuff really get in bed super early today i think i might read a book because i've just been missing that connection to like reading books and stuff like that i used to read so many books in the past so i think i'm gonna go back let me go on with my food and i'll catch you guys later